Hello! So we are on day 7 out of 21 of the 21 days to get ready and find love again workshop series and this is the place where you can get everything you need to start over in love so if you've been through a breakup or a divorce then I've put together this 21 day workshop series to help you to get ready to get back out there and confidently date again attract the right kind of people for you and ultimately to find love again. So this has all been designed to get you to a place of confidence and strength and clarity so that you can meet the right person for you without investing or wasting time on the wrong people, settling, selling yourself short or getting stuck in a relationship you really deep down know you shouldn't be in. So yesterday we talked about emotional readiness for uh, the next relationship of commitment, so emotional readiness and availability. Today I want to talk to you about something that we don't often think about and that's about your physical readiness and availability. And by physical I don't mean sexual, I just mean your schedule and your lifestyle because I know especially, um, for example, with a divorce and with being a single parent and especially the primary carer parent, which in most cases we know our mums are finding it incredibly difficult to create space eventually to meet somebody. Um, on the other hand, I often speak to divorced parents who say that um, because they share childcare, there are some upside in some way that um, that they do have time um, when they do not care for their children maybe over a weekend or a weeknight that that helps them on their dating journey the point really is just about looking clearly at your family commitments your work commitments or any other commitments that you have in your life aside from taking care of your children or you know the basic kind of things the day-to-day -day things what are the things that you committed to in your life and do you actually really have the physical space to meet somebody and to make it a priority because so often I see is that people do want to date they do want to meet somebody new um, but they only you know they will only see somebody for maybe an hour or two a week because they just don't have the space and the avail and, and the availability so this might not sound like a particularly particularly big point but your lifestyle and your schedule is definitely a factor that can affect your dating journey and your uh, ability and your capacity to meet somebody new. So then it's also not just about meeting somebody new, it's also about having the space to bring this new person into your life and how you are going to manage that and the logistics that come with that. So maybe, you know, you want to just have a really good look at your schedule and your commitments and again be honest with yourself about what you can manage at this stage in your life. Is it maybe one coffee a week just to get out there and meet new people or is it more to focus on doing voluntary activities or something that you love to do in your free time that will help you to get out there and meet more people? It's just taking a really good look at your schedule and not just kind of leaving it or winging it. It is about getting intentional about your dating journey and it's about having a conscious intention about creating a new relationship and meeting somebody new and to be able to do that you need to invest some time in it. And especially if you're online dating, it is about prioritizing the time for that. It's not just about going on there once a week, checking a couple of messages, not really engaging, but just kind of sitting back and waiting for something to happen. So all of this, your life schedule, 
your work schedule, your family schedule, your childcare schedule. It is just take a good look and see if and how you are going to prioritise your love life, basically. I also know something a lot of people struggle with, especially women in their 30s, 40s. They often have childcare, but they're also maybe caring for an elderly parent. That's certainly something that I've come across a few times. So I want to say to you that I know life is incredibly busy. But really try and make the effort, if you can at all, prioritise yourself and your dating journey and you finding somebody and meeting somebody again proactively. This is just really like you are prioritising and scheduling everything else. I know you can't exactly schedule when and how you're going to meet the next person you're going to be with, obviously, but it's just to encourage you to give yourself the gift of prioritising your love life. So that's our session for today. Uh, have a look at your schedule, mainly, and see how you can proactively schedule in some dating time, meeting new people, creating connections, and make sure that you stick to that for you because you absolutely deserve it and you absolutely deserve to have the new relationship you're looking for. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, that's us for today. I will see you again tomorrow and for day eight or session eight and then we're going to talk about work and career. So thanks for being here. I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Bye for now.